It was a moment 70 years in the making. King Charles III, alongside Queen Camilla, officially crowned at Westminster Abbey in a ceremony full of pomp and pageantry not seen since his mother's coronation in 1953. You know, I think the last time we saw the, the introduction to King, of King Charles to the world, it was a very somber moment. This is a moment of celebration. This is the joyous sort of announcement of his, the beginning of his reign. The day kicking off at Buckingham Palace with a procession to the Abbey. The royal couple riding in the Diamond Jubilee State Coach. Inside the Abbey, over 2,000 guests and over 100 heads of state, including First Lady Jill Biden and members of the royal family. Prince William, Kate, and their children. Prince Louis holding his sister Princess Charlotte's hand. Princess Harry and Andrew were also there. And that symbolic moment, Prince George, a page helping carry his grandfather's robes, walking the very steps he'll one day have to take. The king and queen then lifted onto their thrones, those age-old crown jewels on full display. After the ceremony, the military putting on a show for their new commander-in-chief. That procession, the biggest military ceremonial display since Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, featuring various units from across the Commonwealth. The newly crowned monarchs then making an appearance from that famous balcony. Despite the typically British weather, royal fans camping out overnight, hoping to catch a glimpse of history. Great celebration. We love every minute of it. And when the carriage went past, wow. But in Trafalgar Square, anti-monarchist protesters also making their voices heard. And tomorrow, a star-studded concert will be held in Windsor to celebrate the King and Queen's coronation, featuring the likes of Lionel Richie and Katy Perry. In Hesdalek Quatera, ABC News, London.